Hey YouTube, how's it going? I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video here on my quad. Um, I've had this quad, I don't know, three, four months. It's actually the first quad I've ever owned. And I bought it used. It's a good little quad. I believe it's uh, a 2006. It is a Honda 4 tracks ES, which is electronic shift. So obviously you go through the gears, you go up and down there. Um, the racks or the boxes, sorry, that, that are on it now didn't come with the quad. I added those. Um, this one I bought off of a friend from work. And uh, this one came off of an old two-stroke Polaris that I would bought. But I'd rather see it on this. So this front box uh, you can keep it's designed to put two jerry cans in. I don't have them in right now. In fact, there's nothing in here. This one I like to keep empty. So if I'm going hunting or something and there's specific stuff I need, I can throw it in there. Um, get some bungee cords in case I need to lash something on. And then this box is fairly empty as well, but I do keep some things in here, and these stay with the quad. Um, first thing, this little piece of rope came with the quad. I thought you could never have too much rope, so I'll leave it in there for now. Um, I also keep a decent, uh, decent length of polypropylene rope, good and strong, and then a folding shovel. You have to dig yourself out. A little more handy probably in the winter time, but. Um, and on this little cubby uh, that comes, it's obviously part of the quad, I have a first aid kit and then my registration insurance, the manual for it, and then also there are the Honda tools and a spare spark plug that uh, obviously came with the quad. It still stays in there, so waterproof. These other boxes aren't watertight. I mean, if it's raining, you'd probably be all right, but I'd rather keep the important documents a little safer. And then on this side, I have some little tool bag, and I keep this for just uh, emergency type stuff. It's not entirely complete yet, but most of it is. Uh, first thing in there is the uh, Amora Light My Fire knife. Um, I'm not sure what the reviews are on this knife, but I really like it. Uh, my main blade, no, but this is something that just, I bought it for my quad and it stays in there. I tested it out today and I was able to uh, start a fire. It's got the ferrocium rod. Uh, built into the handle you can see it right there it just pops out and uh, it works really well I'm quite happy with it you know if you keep it in it for emergencies and stuff it's always sharp it's always ready to go uh, stainless blade so you don't have to worry about rust or corrosion uh, keep a little a couple of rags you never know when you might need them and then uh, in those I just have three pieces of fat wood in case it's hard to find tinder and you get a fire going also I have a max edition a pocket organizer um, uh, this isn't the smallest one they make, but it's small enough that I just keep some tools in here. Um, I have a roll of duct tape around a piece of plastic. Probably about 10 feet of duct tape. Let's see if I can open this up. It's kind of hard to do this while I have my phone that I'm filming with in my other hand. Bear with me. Okay. So in here, I have some a waterproof match container with... Uh, these are these light anywhere uh, storm matches. These things are incredible. You can um, you can actually hold these under water and they will keep burning. You can dip them in water and they will ignite. The only caveat to that is that they come with a special striker. Um, that's that little card in there and you keep it with them. Uh, striking it on a rock or something, I've tried that. It doesn't work so well. So if you're gonna do a little setup like this, you'll wanna keep the striker with them that comes in the package. Um, I have some snare wire. Just a little cheap, crappy Gerber knife. Um, non serrated edge. I'm not a fan of serrated edges. And I also have a ferrocium rod on a magnesium block. So there's another method of fire if I need it. Um, I have a little, this little headlamp that clips to the brim of a cap. It's got the red LED. Um, this past fall, I was walking out to my tree stand and uh, it's pitch black, so I don't know, five in the morning or something. It's amazing how well one little red light can, can help you out. Also, it's got the two other white ones there obviously you wouldn't want to rely on that but for an emergency with the battery power it should get you through I also keep a stream light uh, this is called the key mate well this is bigger than anything I would want to keep on my key but I carried this as an EDC light for quite a while probably about two years and it's been a solid little knife or sorry flashlight so it made its way into here um, in this back pocket I just keep uh, all my hunting permits my tags um, have some Ziploc bags, you never know when you'll need those. Also two kitchen garbage bags 
Um, if you're hunting, you harvest, you know, some birds or something like that. It's nice to throw them in there and keep keep everything contained. I also have some latex gloves uh, in case you have to fix something. Rather not get grease all over your hands. And then also a map and some more of my hunting permits. Also, in this bag, I have a little tube of epoxy. This super quick epoxy it stuff works great. Some gloves and a ratchet strap. And lastly, this part is incomplete so far, but I have a tube, uh, a tire repair kit. It's got the little rubber plugs. They're all grouped up. You stick in there and the two tools that come with it. Uh, the reason that's not complete is because I don't have a 12 volt air compressor yet. I would like to get one, but I just haven't gone through it yet because I do have an accessory uh, port here. That I can uh, run that off of. But, and that's a pretty good little quad. Um, I had it on the back. It didn't come with that. I'm planning on making a trailer for this for out on our acreage. And um, there's the winch it came with. It's a Yamaha winch. I've never had to use it yet. I've, I've tested it out and it works good, but uh, I've never actually had to use it. Here's the uh, switch for the winch, the controls. And then here's a disconnect switch that was wired in so you can keep the power off to it. Uh, again, here's my 12 volt accessory. That obviously is uh, from Honda, like that. So, a uh, pretty solid little quad. I'll fire it up. We're neutral here. The one thing I'm noticing is my choke cable doesn't like to stay out. It always slides back in, so I'm gonna have to take a look at that. But falls back in. But, and that's a pretty small, solid little quad. I'm quite happy with it. Um, very comfortable to drive. No, it's not a big one. You, you know, everybody's going with big 900, and all these big beasts, but the trade-off for that, in my opinion, is that they're so heavy. Um, it's quite light, like I can man 